As we continue our prep sports extra, we are quickly approaching kickoff across the region. Let's join our crews one more time. Sports Director Jason Hurst joins us live from Marion with more on this unique spring season. It is pretty loud here. They're doing the starting lineups here at Marion High School. The crowd just erupted because Marion took the field. But the fact that we're playing week six is remarkable. The IHSA, when they approved six conference games, well, the River to River Conference said, well, we've got an easy fix. There's six teams in the Mississippi, six teams in the Ohio Division, so we'll just have everybody play, everyone within their division. And then that one other game, well, that will be from the other side. Well, then Pickneyville decided to opt out because of low numbers, and that's when things got complicated. Ducoin found Williamsville. Uh, we played uh, Mount Carmel. You know, uh, Carterville uh, ended up playing two schools, as it, as it, as it were, out of, out of St. Louis. But non-conference teams have to apply for league membership for just one game. Once that uh, becomes approved, um, so that's kind of our, our motion, and then we take a vote on it, and they get approved for uh, spring football for 2021. I'm kind of an expert on St. Louis football now. I think there are only 11 schools that were playing uh, this spring in, in North County. Uh, they were done last week when we brought McClure, and that was their final game. Uh, and then this, uh, or two weeks ago, and then last week was kind of South County's final game, and uh, we had an opening. You get COVID issues where you have some schools that, that aren't able to play a week due to uh, uh, students or student athletes having to quarantine. Ones that, that hit you mid to late week that that you didn't see coming. You know, I didn't see the Heron thing coming. They they can't help that. That's not their fault. If we could look back knowing where we're at, I probably would have. We probably would have recommended not having conference championships because it locks you in. That you know, all of a sudden you couldn't manip move things around. <laughs> It's remarkable that we are in week six of high school football. And I want to commend everybody in the area, players, coaches, the fans. They've done their part. They've worn their masks. They've stayed patient because it was a year ago today I lost my aunt to COVID back in Connecticut. So thank you to everyone staying patient. Be sure to tune in later tonight at 10 o'clock. As we'll have highlights, as you can see, Marion's rowdy. They're ready to go. And I'm going to send things to Kendra Sheehan back in Benton. Take care. We're covering a lot of great games tonight, but we don't want to leave out the Black Diamond Conference. It's got teams with high-powered offenses and players getting national recognition. Here's a quick recap of some of the top contenders. The Black Diamond was loaded with talented teams this year. Fairfield has been a powerhouse all season. The Mules have won by over 30 points in four of their five games. They're headed into the final week of the season undefeated. Their seniors have never lost a conference game. Johnson City is another menacing opponent to play. The Indians are 5-0 on the season. A big reason why is six foot one quarterback Austin Brown. The junior has already picked up over 15 Division I FBS offers, nine from Power 5 schools. Brown and a strong defensive performance led the Indians to a huge win over Christopher Ziegler Royalton last week. With last week's loss, the Bearcats fell to 3-2 and two on the season. This week on the road at Chester, CZR will have the opportunity to finish with a winning record for the first time since 2002. Here's a look at our Black Diamond matchups. Edward County at Johnson City, Carmi White County at Hamilton County. CZR at Chester, El Dorado at Fairfield, and one matchup will be Saturday, and that's Cesar Valier Waltonville at Vienna. And that's just crazy what the Fairfield Mules have done. They're going for their fifth straight conference championship. The seniors going for their 35th conference win in a row. That being said, let's go ahead and send it over to our third member in the sports department. Julie might just keep you here. And Number two. Thanks, Kendra. You just caught the end of a big moment here. I'm at Anna Jonesboro for their whiteout game against Nashville. Tonight's proceeds go to benefit Tabby Smith. She's a junior who was in a car crash in November. She actually just got to do the coin flip for the start of the game. Fans are amped here. You can see her walking off the field. She's home, just did the coin toss again. This is uh, the whiteout game. So, Mark, I'm going to send it back to you. They're getting ready for kickoff. 
Thanks, Julie. Be sure to join us for News 3 at 10 when Jason and Kendra will have scores and highlights from around the area. And that wraps up our Prep Sports Extra. We leave you now with some of our favorite plays from this season.